say your supplier sends you the regular file with the SKU and price and inventory uh, quantities like here and you need to update your products with just these uh, columns so how do you do it with Excelify uh, the following way you can use our template for uh, columns let's say if we do the export of products and inventory then when you download the file you can use it essentially as the template for importing and updating specific columns as well but don't do it like this uh, like uh, just because Excelify can update columns by the SKU sometimes you are tempted to just like clear out the values for for all the other fields and import only the like for example here is the SKU column uh, you might be tempted to like clear out the columns uh, and import by the SKU but uh, please don't do it because how the app works is that if you are importing the empty value for example uh, any any empty value for a column it you are telling for app that you want to set the for example the option to value to empty yeah so so this is not what you want you want to just mention only the columns which you want to update in the file and entirely either delete all the columns from the file or my favorite uh, suggestion is that you just copy the name of the column and now switch to the supplier file and you just paste uh, the title here in the supplier file and let's do it the same with the price it's the variant price you copy paste over the price and now take the inventory quantity it's this one boom now you have all all the right column names and none of the other columns will get updated just those for each of those SKU so you just uh, save the file and that's it you can go to Excelify app and upload that same uh, saved CSV file let the app analyze it will count the it will count how many SKUs do you have it might mean that uh, there are less products because each product has several SKUs but at this point it will count how many SKUs and when you press import it will start by preloading your whole store uh, into memory and it will index them by the SKU so that uh, the app knows which SKU belongs to which product and then it will update all the products and uh, wherever the SKU matches the variant SKU wherever it matches from the file you imported it will set that uh, those values even if for example several products have the same SKU uh, number it will update all of them to the same value and now uh, you see that it says that 10 updated one failed and now if you want to know why it failed you just click here download the import results file and in that file let's open it you will see here a bit more columns there's an ID of the product the handle the variant ID and then comes the variant SKU which was updated and the, like all the status of each of the SKUs and then you see there's this one failed and why it has failed it says in the import comment column it says that none of the products have this SKU because I just added it at the end uh, this SKU doesn't exist in your store that's why it's uh, not found and so this is how you update it and uh, if, if you need to update on regular basis uh, the similar file from your supplier in the comments below I will put a link to another video and tutorial which shows you how you can 
make this same file uh, reusable so that you don't have to manually paste those value, those titles but you can set it up once and uh, put it on automate here under options you will be able to put the to schedule and repeat on on automatic thanks